Okay, good afternoon class. So um, at this point we're looking at measurement. We had some homework on, um, on bod mass as well. Not so? Right. How come you're sitting here at this side? Did I move you? Or you asked if you can move? Okay. Okay, so I gave you the diagnostic test skills one to one skill one to five, no? Alright. So let's do this quickly. So we are told So we are told um, in uh, skill one, uh, try to find the skill area that you need more practice in. Okay, so uh, we're busy with skill one. In skill one, number one, they ask you what unit would be used to measure the following. So if you're looking at if you're looking at the length of a B. The length of a B, would you, how would you measure that? Yes. Millimeters. Why is it fairly small? Not so? Who of you are stung by a B already? Yo, many. More than half the class. Grade R. Most of you in grade R. There's something wrong with our grade R teachers. No, I'm joking, man. Who was, was uh, stung most recent by a bee? When were you stung? Like a month ago. Month ago. <laughs> Out of the bee. Past. I know. I but you okay? Yeah. Sorry? In the foot. In the foot. Yeah. Yellow. Hectic. <laughs> no, when I see this stuff, I dodge it. Don't worry. Try it. So I was near, I can't remember being stung by a bee. But I heard it so. Yeah, but some people are allergic to that bee sting. And they swell up like. Yeah, so they try to prevent dying. So they, they dodge the bee. Okay, but anyway, so uh, a bee is millimeters, not so. Okay, what love letters is that? No, what letter is that? Is it maths? Where's your maths book? You're sitting with a pad. You found your maths book. Hey, it's going to be a long year, no? Right, I'll prioritize your, your, your work, okay? The height of a flagpole? Meters. You all agree with that? Then the length of a football field? Kilometers? I would also say meters. Can I imagine a kilometer long field? Football field. Sorry? It's not a kilometer. Sorry? Kilometers? No, they just said what unit would you use? So I would go with meters, but kilometers is fairly large, huge. I don't think it will be kilometers. Doesn't matter. I, I would still go with meters. Let's see what the text is. 
But this is a different opinion. Meters. Okay, so um, the, I miss um, 9A standing outside Ms. Sassman's room, but they're making a noise here, Ms. I don't know where they should be. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so um, 1D, so the, the answer to the football field is, kilom um, is meters. Okay, kilometers is fairly large, huge. Okay. The distance between towns? That's kilometers. Okay. Let's look at number two. Find the missing amounts. So at this point we should note the conversions between these quantities. So one hundred oh, ten millimeters is equal to one centimeter. A hundred centimeters equals one meter. One thousand millimeters equals one meter one thousand meters equals one kilometer one thousand grams equals one kilogram one thousand kilograms equals one ton um, that's about it so two meters how many centimeters 2.35 meters, how many centimeters? 235 centimeters. Well, millimeters, it would be 2,350. Okay. The next one. I'm going to move that over a bit. 23 centimeters. 2 millimeters. 230. Not so. Why? Because I'm multiplying it by 10. It's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. 4 kilometers? 4,000 meters. 5 meters? 5,000 millimeters. 900 meters? 0, 0,9 kilometers. So I'm dividing by 1,000. Um, 320 is 3,2 meters because I'm dividing by 100. Uh, 56 millimeters. Nope. This 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So I must divide by 10. 5.6. The last one is 6 meters equals 6,000 millimeters. Okay. Any issues there? No? Let's carry on with our lives. Number two, it says comparing lengths. Which length is the longest length? Large, uh, longer length. So you got 3,400 millimeters. Um, meters. So the first thing is we need to convert. We always convert it to the smaller SI unit. The call at the back. Turn right on your legs. Turn around. Is it probably? You, you, mu you must mark the work. You know. So you got all the sums right. Nice. Okay, so now you're bored. Now you're not bored. Okay. So for um, skill two, they want to know which is the longer, the, the larger length or the longer length. So what we need to do is we need to convert it to the smaller SI unit. Okay, so um, three thousand four hundred meters. So we're going to convert three point six kilometers to meters. 
So that's going to give you 3,600 meters. So which one is larger? 3.6. Okay. So that one is larger. So 32 millimeters or 2 centimeters. This in millimeters will be 20 millimeters. So 3, comma, 3 32, centi uh, 32 millimeters is larger. Not so. The next one. 0, 0,5 kilometers, that is 500 meters. So, Mr. Bodin? Yes, miss? Sorry to interrupt your lesson. I need to hand out a uh, exam timetable. If you can just send one of the learners to come and collect the visa. Okay, who's the class okay, monitor? Oh, no. Oh, no. So, I can just request something else. Okay. 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 Does this give us a chance to do you not push the work along? No. We will do uh, 18 millimeters. Two centimeters. Two centimeters how many millimeters? 20. So that is it larger. The next one? It's 54 meters to centimeters. So how many centimeters in the meter? 100. Not so? So it's going to be times 100. So that's going to give you 5,000. 400. So that one is of course larger. Not so? This is uh, meters. So that's going to give you 30 centimeters. Not so? Yeah? So that one is larger. Okay. You guys know how this inequality is working? Yeah. Okay, so let's carry on. Skill, uh, skill three, yes. Uh, it's not page twenty. It's twenty-five. What? Because I'm confused. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. No problem. No, it's fine. Sorry, me, my mistake. Where did I get twenty-three from? <laughs> Which is weird. But anyway. So, uh, we're busy with the perimeter. They say the perimeter of a shape with straight sides. If the perimeter of these shapes, find the perimeter of these shapes. In the first case, girlfriend, what are you doing? Put this here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm teaching and you're disrupting everybody. Just put it down. Thank you, man. Appreciate that you're in first. Okay. So the question is find the, uh, find the perimeter of these shapes. So the what is the perimeter? The perimeter is basically the lens on the outside. Not so. So what I do is when I work on the perimeter, I start from one point and I move along. OK, instead of saying that, then this, then that, and then I skip one and so on. We'll make one twice. Really. So I start from one point and I move around the shape. OK. So the, the perimeter is going to be 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 6. So that is 10, 15, 22. You see why we sent you? Did you see? This is now the second time you're calling out the wrong answer by on purpose, okay? Am I right? Okay. So you got 22 centimeters. Let me see your book. Why you write the wrong stuff in your books? <laughs> yeah, but now, yes, meters, why you write centimeters? You're making up your own sums. You become a maths teacher, no? You're making up your own sums. People, B? Did you get B? Now we need to say, so the perimeter here is going to be 4 meters plus 4.1 meters plus. Now that is in centimeters. So I'm going to convert it to meters. So it's 3 comma 2 meters. Or I could have converted everything to centimeters. Okay, normally we do it to the smaller, the smaller um, unit. So that's going to give you 4 plus 4.1 is going to give you 8.1. 
uh, 1911.3. Is that the correct? Yes, sir. Or if you had gone with centimeters, that would have been 1130. Is that correct? Because if you're going to convert it to centimeters, it would have been 400 centimeters plus well, 410 centimeters plus 320 centimeters. So that's 810, 800, 900, 1, 1, So either way, you would have gotten the correct answer. Okay? Unless the question specifies, give your answer in centimeters or give your answer in meters, then you have to convert it to what is asked for. Do you guys understand? Yes, sir. Right. <coughs> Moving it along. Skill four. They ask you to work out the area of the shapes with straight sides. Find the area of these shapes. Are you calculating the area of a rectangle? Length times width. Okay. Well, length times width is the same. So my length here is going to be. 14 times 6. Again, the SI unit must be in the same value. Both must be in meters or centimeters or whichever kilometers you're working with. So, 6 to 14 times 6, so 6 times 4 is 24. 6 is 84. Is that correct? So, it's 84 centimeters squared. Why is it centimeters squared? Sorry? Because it's area. Because it's area. Because it's area. No, but that's how you put the two. No, because it's two square. Centimeter square is correct, but why centimeter square is because. Just gave the It is because it's two dimensions. It has a length and a breadth. When you work out volume, it's going to be centimeters. Q. Why? Because there's a length, a so it's three dimensions. That is why it is centimeter square for two dimensions, it's centimeter cube for three dimensions. Yes. Yo, I thought you were going to ask a maths question. Go. Okay. Let's look at the B. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Well done. Right, let's see how it is. I, I don't know, I don't have the square, I just... No, it's what is that? Times that 2 and then I got 68. So you don't have a square then? Yeah, you're going to just lose one more. Okay. okay. So in the exam, you don't have the square, you lose one more. So you guys have grade 8. In the grade 8, you must get full marks for this stuff. Okay. Now we look where we can take one more away. Okay, would you like me to take the mark away? Would you must like the square? The next one, how do you calculate the area of a, of a triangle? Oh, no. Of? Base times, times perpendicular. It's not so. Yeah. So what is your base here? 12. So it's half times 12 times your perpendicular? 7. What's a half times 12? 6. 6. And 6 times 7? 42 meters square. Okay, what's wrong? The, the, the area, remember that, if you've got a, a rectangle, that was your length and your breadth. The parameter is two length plus two breadth. Not so. Then the area will be length times breadth. If you didn't know this, write this down. If you've got a triangle, Okay, I'm going to write it down, that and that, uh, there we go. So we have a rectangle. We have the length and the breadth, no? The parameter is going to be two length plus. Did you guys do this last year? Yes. Now what are, they, what are they talking about? They don't know what this is. You didn't do it. Yeah, but if you did it in grade six, it was the same as like you did it over before. 
Rachel? Whose fault is that? Mm -hmm. That's a nice teacher. Teacher's fault, okay. Nice. Now you see that, that's how it goes. You're always going to blame the teacher. He's never like yourself, man. You understand? But it's fine. Blame us. You think you got the screen? Well, what is the properties of a screen? All the sides are equal. Not so? Yeah. So you call this a side? Yes, you got 90 degrees, he's saying there, and 90 there. So the perimeter, the perimeter is on the outside. The perimeter is going to be side plus side plus four sides, not so? Four times side. Whoops. Okay, and the area is going to be side times side, which is side squared. Okay. Can you cut a triangle? Are you guys writing? Yes, sir. What's wrong, my girl? Yes, I'm just getting that. Now, whose fault is that? The teachers. The teacher, okay. Like the teacher is fine. Okay, listen, man, it's fine. Whatever you don't, you, you don't know, no? If that's why I'm making a note here. Why? So that you can take it down. But now, others have learned it. Now, we must not keep them behind because your teacher is You understand? So, whatever you haven't taught, no problem. I just put it on the board, you make a note. Here. You are doing it now. Is that okay? okay. Right, the next one is a triangle. Okay. There, there are three different ways a triangle can be done. No? Okay. Okay, Michael, don't waste your time. You see here, uh, the area of a triangle, if this is, yeah, if this is 90 degrees here, okay, then your base would be this here, not so, and it's going to be a perpendicular height. you all agree with that? Yes, sir. So the area is going to be a half, base times perpendicular. You see, this, this form is actually derived from a half a, eh? Rectangle. Not so? Yes, yes. Okay, you were told that in the primary school. But anyway, okay. here you didn't, it's fine. Here you're learning it now. Okay. Yeah. People, your base is this here. Not so? The triangle looks like it. Your perpendicular height would be there. Can you see, make a note of that? You didn't know that? That's your base and there's your perpendicular height. Okay? The, the, the middle one is easy. Is when you got the 90 degree there. And one is your base and one is your height. Okay? Yes. Here, we have this being your base and there is your perpendicular height. Your height relative to your base. Okay? Yeah, this is your base. From there to there. Now your perpendicular height stands 90 degrees to your base. Is your perpendicular height. Okay. That's where your obtuse, your obtuse triangle. Okay, well, this is your acute triangle. You guys got it? Yes. Okay. Did you do, did you, did you guys do a circle as well? No, no, no. Where's down the circle? What's the area of a circle? You don't know? No, the area, the area. The area of the All I know is that you're calculating zero. Zero? No. Okay, leave it, leave it like it's yeah. Okay, it looks like you guys have done it, but nobody took note, or you guys have not done it. Okay. So, you listen, you people talk a lot, young. I must ask you for your English teachers to give you a chance to give the news in the first 10 minutes of a period. Because in primary school, we know, the teacher gives you like an hour in the morning and everybody around the class to tell the news, no? Sorry? Chris, but now you people are talking so much. Yes, my God.
Okay? Yes, sir. So now, so that is the, 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 the formula for those shapes there. Then, for skill five, Yeah, they are. they're talking about composite shapes. Composite shapes is more than one shape. Cut out to add it or so. Okay. So the question is find the shaded area. So now, we don't have an area for this shape. The area formula for that. We probably, the easy formula, what type of shape is this person? Quite Quadrilateral, yes, which means a quadrilateral is basically a four-sided figure made up of four edges or four sides. It's a quadrilateral, yes, that's what that is said. Somebody said. But what special quadrilateral is this? Irregular. Irregular, yes. Irregular means to say all the sides are, are not the same. So that means to say irregular. If it's regular, all the sides and all the angles are the same. But it has a name, yeah, special name. Tera, yes? Trapezium. 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 You get special quads. You get the square, you get the rectangle, you get the rhombus, yeah. the parallelogram, you get the kite, you get the trapezium. Oh. Right? I think I've mentioned him. Did I say parallelogram? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is a trapezium. The one property of a trapezium is that you have one pair of parallel lines. And then you, this is your parallel line. But okay, there is an area for, to work out the trapezium, but that we do in grade 9. But this shape is actually made up of two different shapes. Can you see two shapes? What shape is made up of? A rectangle and a triangle. Okay. So if I cut the D, you know, I have a a rectangle measuring 5 by 10, not so. And then we have a triangle. What is the base here? 2. two. Why? Because I have this whole length is 12. That is 10. This has to be 2. What is this height here? 5. Five. It's the same height. Isn't it? Can you see that? So in other words, in other words, Divine. What is this? The title? Oh no, okay, for it, yeah? It's for the handouts of at the end of the lesson. Thank you. Do you all see that, people? So, in other words, the area is going to be made up of a rectangle plus a triangle. How do you calculate the area of a rectangle? Length times period. Plus a triangle, it's half, base, times perpendicular height. Not so. So what's my length here? 12 times 5, is 12 times 5, plus a half. What's the base we said here? 2 times the height here, which is? You guys understand? So two times, uh, 12 times 5 is? Half times 2? 1 times 5? 60 plus 5? 65 meters. Who got that one right? Only the one right, I think the answer is on the left. Everybody else was out of it. Okay, keep on writing on your left, it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, let's look at B. What's happening here? What's happening here? He's not irregular, no. A sorcerer. What's a sorcerer? A sky beam. A sky beam? Sky beam, yes. Sky beam triangle, which means. What does sky beam mean? You have three sides of the triangle, all three sides are different. A sorcerer? Two sides are equal, or two angles are equal? Equal that too? All sides. all sides are equal, all angles are equal. And the angles are equal to what? 
अवश्य से इन सिक्सटी इयर्स वाइफ बिज़ आई ओके सो द एरिया ऑफ़ द शेड रीज़न एरिया ऑफ़ द शेड रीज़न वुड बी सो व्हाट वी हैव यर इस टू शेप्स एज यू कैन सी सो व्हाट हैपेंस इस we have a rig angle you think it's plus the triangle no, no. Minus, minus. minus the triangle can you see that yeah. so the area of the shaded region is going to be the rig, the, the triangle minus the the, the, the rig angle sorry minus the triangle okay so how do you calculate the area of a triangle length times Minus a minus or half base times perpendicular. Not so? So how, what will the length of the triangle be? Six. Six times minus a half six times four minus a half times the base three times the height which is Six times four, twenty-four minus. Three times two is six. Six times half is three. Or you could have said half times three is three over two, and three over two times two is three. The same. Okay. Or you could have said half cancels two, and then you have three anyway. Twenty-one minus three, and twenty-four minus three, twenty-one minus. Okay. For homework, I want you guys to do then I'm going to give you a new skill where the first master this numbers one to five, okay? Skill one to five. You do for me on page ninety seven. You do for me skills one to five. Sorry? On page 97. Skills 1 to 5. Okay? You want to do all of them because... Okay, just do the odd numbers. Skill 1 to 5, the odd numbers. Okay? Right, then you guys add some bod mass homework, not so? Yes, yes so let's go to bod mass. You are on book C. Okay, shh, shh. one person. Is book C worksheet one the even numbers? Good, eh? It's fine, man. Thank you for reminding me. Mm -hmm. no? I appreciate it. But did I mark all that of worksheet one, uh, one or book C? No. So that's what I would like to do. You understand? Okay. And now I've on, we've answered this the, of, of these sums yesterday, okay? So it's fine if I've answered, just listen. Until we come to a point where we didn't answer any longer, okay? Book C, worksheet 1, even numbers. The first num answer is 6. Then? 9. nine. Then? One. 1. Then? Seven. 7. Then? 3 over 7. Number 12 is? 150. Number 14 is? Oh. Oh. Number 16 is? Two. 2. Number 18 is? 36. 36. Number 20 is? 7. Seven. Number 22? 1 over 8. Number 24? 2. 2. 26? 
11 over 12 Number 28 5 over 12 and number 30 1 Yes, Michael Sorry, for number? 23 over 84 Book C, worksheet 1 You know your mistake? So any other problems with book uh, C? Well, worksheet one. Yeah. We'll give you guys English. Oh, Messi, you have a competition for what? It's just for fun. I'll come last. Yeah. They are like superstars. Sorry? Will make me run for my money. They are right? Yes. No, maybe the others go faster. <laughs> so they go slow because the children go slow. I was like, I rather think the others gonna beat me. Sorry? You can't. No, man. I will lose against those guys. No. Right, this is book. See? Oh, shit. For their O double D. Mm. Okay, so let's do this quickly. The first answer. One. One. Over three is absolute. Next one. Thirteen over twenty-four. Twenty-five over six. Thirteen over forty-two. The next one. Nine over twenty. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's just have a look here quickly. Is there any problems with number one? Number three? Yes? No. Go for it, Michael. What did you write in your first line? Just hang on, let me just put it here. 15 over 4? Minus grab 4 over 7 over 6. That's 12. 17 over 6 or 7 over 6? Yes, plus? Plus 3 over 8. Yeah. Um, 15 over 4 minus 68 over 24 plus 9 over 2. So you say times by 3. How much did you get there? Times by 4. 
by 4. So you're going to get 68. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Plus, you times that by 3, so it's 9. What's 68 plus 9? 77 over 20. Did you have 77? Does, wasn't this in one of your tests? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but wasn't it right? So you see your mistake, Michael? You're not adding properly yet to get 77. So what's your, what's your LCM? 24. So let's multiply this by 6. So you're going to get? 90 minus 77, which is 23 over 24. No, 13, sorry. sorry. You? Relax. Okay. Right, you guys got it? Yes, Michael? Number 5. wrong? Okay, no problem. You can also get one to the one before. So it's going to be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 times 5. So Go for it. 25 over 6. I still need 5. So I want 5 over 3. That's right. You're going to simplify that. Okay, go on. Yes, yeah? Yes? What's your alt team? Yes? Yes? 5 over 6, yes? Times 5 over 1. Yes? 25 over 6? So you wrote it as 24, so it's 4 and 1 over 5, 1 over 6. No, I got 25 over 6. 25 over 6, that's also 25 over 6. I know. So now you're telling me you got 25 over 6. And if I go into six, how many times that will remain? Twice. No, not five. Okay, I saw one supposed to do that. So you know your mistake. Yes. Okay, it's not a talk to me at all. <laughs> yes, okay. People number seven. Any issues there? Yes. Mustn't you fix something at the office? I did. Already. Okay, ask what's your question? I have one over 42. One over 42. Go for it. Did you have learned? Sorry? Go for it, Michael. What's your LCM? Uh, 42. 42, okay. Read for me your first line. My first line is 7 over 21 plus 3 over 21. 7 over 21. Why get 21? What's your LCM? It's 42. What you need to do is, you see two, just hang on, you've got two, three, and seven. What is the largest denominator? Seven. Seven. So, can two go into seven? No. no. Can two go, the next multiple of seven is? Fourteen. Can two go into fourteen? Yes. So you must count in fourteens. Can three go into fourteen? No. The next one is twenty-eight. Can three go into twenty-eight? No. You add fourteen, I'm going to get thirteen, forty-two. And 3 going to 42? Mm. Yes, so 42 is the outcome. You understand? Sorry? What are you confused about? Yes, just give a chance. It's your first explain. Yes? Because I said on top, I said 1. Okay, did this write what you wrote? Okay. What did you write here? 1 over 2. 1 over 2, yes? 7 over 21? Plus 3 over 21. So you find an LCM here? Yes, sir. Okay. And then I said 1 times 21, and then 2 times 21, and then 10 times 2, and then 21. You said? 2 times the spine? 21. Yes, sir. Okay. So I get 21 over 42. No? Minus? Minus 20 over 42. Ah, so you times this by 2, and then by 2. Yes. That's supposed to be 14. 
of 42 plus 6 over 42. Your mistake was you actually did this part here and you said 7 plus 3 is 10 and that's how you get 10 over 21 and then you multiply by 2 that's how you get 20 over 42. No? But your mistake here is this number is actually negative 7. So it's negative 7 plus 3. It's negative 4. And not negative 10 over 20. That's your mistake. You understand? But what did I tell you before? If you follow bot mass, what did I tell you? You can interchange this. But according to what you have here, you got subtraction first. So why didn't you do subtraction first? You had to do that first. You can interchange addition and subtraction as you find it in the line. Whatever from left to right comes first, you do first. Didn't you write down that rule? Yes. And what else can interchange here? Yes. Just follow the rules we give you. No? You follow that, you shouldn't get it wrong. On that side, what was your question, Michael? What was your mistake? Oh, so you keep uh, copying blessing? No. no. Okay, anyone else? Yes, what was your question, Michael? Yes, your hand was up. I was going to ask about something, but you made the same mistake. Sorry? You made the same mistake. You and, and this one made the same mistake? Yes, same Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> and what's the mistake you're making? No? I don't like it. Right. What I would have done, I would have found the LCT be 42, that that times by 21. That you times uh, 43 times what is 42? 1, 4, 14. 7 times what is 42? 6. So 1 times 6 is 6. 21 minus 14 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. Over 14. Okay. You understand, Michael? Watch out for that, for that uh, negative sign. We are not going to integers as yet. Okay. Good afternoon. May I have your attention, please? If there are any learners who haven't received a copy of the exam timetable, please come and collect a copy at the office of the school. Any learners who haven't received a copy of the exam timetable, to come and collect a copy at the office of the school. Then all house captains to meet in the court now. All house captains to meet in the court now. Uh, Naruka, can you please report to the office? Okay. Any problems with number 11? No. Number 12? Uh, number 13? You problem number 13? No? Number 15? 15 is the issue. Right, go for it. First one is 12 over 1 times open bracket. 12 over 1 times? Times open bracket. 1, 1 times 2, and then 3 times 2. Okay, so it's going to be 2 minus 3. Yeah, 2 over 6, so 1 over 6 is correct. And then next, it's 12 over 1 times 2 is here. 2 over 6? Yeah, that was the other one. I did the line again when I said multiply. Okay. And then it's 12 times 6. 12 times 6? Well, you didn't do this here. What's 2 minus 1? one. So you got 1 over 6 here. You mustn't find an LCM here. That goes 6 goes in here once, say it twice. So the answer is 2 over 1, which is 2. Any problems with 17? Uh, 19? Uh, 21? Your homework is going to be book B. Sorry, book C. Yeah, 
Well, she do even numbers. Okay. People enjoy this every day. Good off, good off, good off. Just hand out the, the timetable, please. You don't mind.